Robert Griffin I, I is back and you can look away. Sports News Online. He's back. More pompous and slightly less injured than ever. Robert Griffin I, I late of a shoulder injury that's sidelined him since his opening game with his new team, will make his long-awaited somewhat awaited awaited unavoidable comeback on Sunday afternoon, quarterbacking the Cleveland Browns in one of the least consequential games of the NFL season. How little do people care? The game is going out to about half of Ohio, the northern tip of Kentucky and that's about it. It should exist only in rumor, innuendo and occasional red zone clips while all the other games are at commercial. Yet, we will seek it out. We'll actually want to watch. Why? Because Griffin is still one of the most compelling characters in the NFL. Getty Images Getty Images There's some sort of perverse joy in watching the former number to pick who had a magical rookie season before the Redskins and the injuries, stubbornness and Shanahan's killed it all, forcing his career reclamation project in the NFL's worst place for such an undertaking. Griffin possesses an air of mystery. The RG3 moniker, by the way, is dead and four touchdowns and seven interceptions in the last 1,095 days killed it. You don't get a cool nickname when Jared Goff had more touchdowns in a eight-day stretch than you had in almost three years. A guy like Buzz Aldrin gets to keep his nickname for life. A guy who was once benched for Colt McCoy does not. And that's why, despite the fact that no one outside masochistic fans of Ohio-based football would normally have any legitimate interest in this game, you'll be paying attention. Don't try to fantasy excuse. You couldn't possibly have any fantasy players to watch because this is the first week of the fantasy playoffs. If you had any Brown for Bengals you wouldn't be playing in the first week of the fantasy playoffs. Why should Robert Griffin I, I remain an object of interest to us for years after his last successes? There's those successes, mixed with his college superstardom, plus his ever-burning desire to remain in the public light that still captivates us. And America loves nothing more than second acts, even if those second acts will mainly consist of getting picked off by Pac-Man Jones. Overall though, we like that all three possible outcomes on Sunday provide a satisfying